Hi everyone, Kate here and I've got Lenny, my foster dog. Just going to take a few minutes to do a quick little video on how we introduce a word in our training. How do we teach the dog what the word means and how do we get them to respond to the word and not just follow the food. Okay, okay so this is the sequence of events that we're looking for when we're teaching the dog to understand the word. First of all, we have to say the word separately from making some sort of prompt or lure or gesture. Then the dog performs the action and they get the reward. So it's important that there's no overlap between the word and the gesture. If we give our word at the same time as we do the gesture, the dog's not gonna to listen to the word. Dogs are creatures of watching body language. So they're gonna notice what we do with our hands, how we lure them with the food or do a gesture. They're gonna notice that more than they listen to the word. Um, and they'll never really pay attention to the word and they'll never really learn it. So, um, so we want to avoid doing the word and the gesture at the same time. Uh, the word needs to come first, then the gesture. So we'll do a little demonstration of that now with Lenny. Right, so let's see what that looks like. Sit, lure, reward. Good boy, very good. And I'm going to release him. Okay, nice. Sit. So after we've repeated that multiple times, then what we start to do is say the word and then just wait for a moment and see if the dog will automatically start to anticipate the lure and go into the position. Are you ready? Good. Sit. Good boy. Very nice. Good boy. Okay. Now he still knows that I've got food in my hand um, and often he will just automatically SIT if he thinks he's gonna get something. Oh, but he's not. All right, so I'm gonna reward him for that. Because he didn't actually S-I-T. And now we'll try saying the word, sit. Nothing, so we'll gesture. Good, good boy. So that shows that he doesn't actually know the word yet. Um, so we need to work on more of the, say the word, do the gesture. Say the word, do the gesture, or the lure. Okay. So we'll just do the same thing, but we'll do it now with the down. So first step is to make sure that we can actually get the dog to lie down and we've already been practicing this. So let's see how we go. So with Lenny, I'm just luring him down from the sit. All I'm doing is I'm just gonna make sure that, oh, give him a little reminder, make sure he knows what he's supposed to be doing. Good. So if we can't get the dog to do the behavior, there's no point adding a word to it because they don't know what the word means um, and the word's just gonna become irrelevant. So we make sure we can get the dog to do it first. Okay, I'll release him. So now I know that he's, got, he's able to follow the food lure, now I can start to add the word just before I do my food lure or my gesture. So we're gonna start in the SIT. All right, so I've got my food, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna say the word and then I'm gonna lure him into the down. I'm gonna use the word down, you can say drop or flat or whatever you wanna use. Down, good boy, nice, praise and reward. Good, good, okay. And we'll do that again. Down, lure, give him the food. Good boy, very clever. Good boy, okay, get it. Down, good boy. So I'm also shrinking my gesture a little bit as well. So let's just try adding those together and see what happens. Sit, he still needs a bit of help. Down, good boy. So I'm giving him some help, but I'm giving him less help. Good boy, okay. Ready? Get it. Sit. No response. Help him. Good. Good boy. Down. No response. Help him. Good boy. Very clever. So it takes quite a lot of repetitions for the dog to actually hear the word and understand what it means. So just remember, we've got to have that pause. We've got to have to say the word, do the gesture or the lure and the help the dog, and then the dog does the action and then they get the reward. And with enough repetitions, then they will start to learn that, oh, the word means that less gesture is gonna come next, so I won't wait for the gesture, I'll just do the thing that is indicated by the word. So we call this putting the behavior on verbal cue. So I just want the dog to do it without any movement from me um, uh, by the dog understanding what that word actually means. Good boy, doing a super job. Okay, get it.